Have you ever wondered how those apps on your phone are built and whether you can create your own? Well then, you're in the right place. My name is Daniel and today we are diving into a mobile development roadmap. This is my step-by-step -step guide on the mobile app development process. We are going to talk about what mobile app development is, the skills you need to make it, the educational path you might consider, a step-by-step -step breakdown of how it all comes together, and of course, the all-important question. Is it worth getting into mobile app development? Guys, make sure you check out all the useful links in the description. After watching this video, there might be some nice discounts there. Let's get into it. What is mobile app development? Alright folks, let's kick things off by talking about what mobile app development actually is. You know all those apps you use every day? Instagram, TikTok, Uber, your banking app. Those are all the results of mobile app development. Basically, it's the process of creating software that runs on mobile devices like smartphones and tablets. And it's not just about making sure they look pretty. It's about making sure they work smoothly, are secure, and provide value to users. There are two main types of mobile apps – native apps and cross-platform apps. Native apps are built specifically for either iOS or Android. So, for example, if you're making an iOS app, you'd use Swift or Objective-C. For Android, you'd go with Java or Kotlin. Cross-platform apps, on the other hand, are built using frameworks that work on both platforms, like Flutter or React Native. That way, you write the code once and it runs everywhere. Pretty cool, right? But keep in mind, there are pros and cons to both approaches. And we'll talk more about those as we go. Essential skills for mobile app developers. Ok, now let's chat about the skills you need to become a successful mobile app developer. First of all, guys, coding is non-negotiable. You have to be comfortable with at least one programming language. If you're focusing on iOS development, you'll need to learn Swift or Objective-C. For Android, it's Java or Kotlin. And if you're interested in cross-platform development, frameworks like React Native, Flutter or even Xamarin are your go-tos. But it's not just about writing code, folks. You have got to understand how to design intuitive user interfaces and how users interact with their devices. Think about it. Nobody wants to use an app that's clunky or confusing. So some basic knowledge of design principles is super helpful. Next, you have to get familiar with APIs. These are the connectors that let your app communicate with other apps or web services. For example, if you're building a weather app, you'll need to use an API to fetch real-time weather data. And of course, don't forget about debugging. Coding isn't perfect, and there will always be bugs, trust me. Learning how to efficiently debug and troubleshoot your code will save you a lot of headaches down the road. Lastly, having a grasp on app performance and optimization will make you a rockstar developer. Users want their apps to be lightning fast, guys. So, knowing how to optimize for speed and performance is key. Educational background you need as a mobile app developer. Alright, my friends, let's talk about education. Do you need a college degree to become a mobile app developer? The short answer is no, but let's break it down a bit. Having a degree in computer science or software engineering definitely helps. It gives you a solid foundation in algorithms, data structures, and overall programming concepts. Plus, it can make you stand out in a job application. However, in today's world, a lot of folks have successfully broken into mobile development through self-teaching or coding bootcamps. There are tons of resources out there. I mean YouTube tutorials, Udemy courses, and interactive platforms like Coursera. They'll teach you everything from the basics to advanced app development techniques. If you're a self-learner, make sure to practice by building real projects. Nothing beats hands-on experience, and employers love seeing a portfolio of apps you've built. Plus, it's super rewarding to see your work come to life. So whether you go the traditional route with a degree or take a more flexible path, what matters most is your ability to actually build stuff. Guys, before breaking down the key steps of app development, I think this is the perfect moment to talk about how you can really deepen your understanding of programming concepts with Brilliant.org. Brilliant is a platform that makes learning interactive and engaging with thousands of hands-on lessons in math, programming, AI, and more. Instead of memorization or passive watching, it focuses on problem solving to deepen your understanding effectively. Lessons are crafted by experts from top institutions like MIT and Caltech and are proven to be six times more impactful than traditional lectures. You can learn anytime on your phone, making it perfect for short daily sessions to boost your critical thinking and real-world skills. Brilliant has launched new data science content using real-world datasets to help you spot trends and make informed decisions. It's great for all levels, covering data visualizations, 
algorithms, and regression models. You'll practice parsing and visualizing data from sources like Airbnb and Spotify to gain real-world insights. Their programming courses are perfect for getting started with Python and include a drag-and-drop editor. You'll learn core concepts like loops and conditionals, working your way up to building games and apps while developing a coder's mindset. Brilliant's math courses cater to all skills levels. You can either strengthen your basics or dive into advanced problem solving. Lessons emphasize practical math for real-world use, including formulas for business and everyday applications, while boosting your spatial reasoning skills. Overall, Brilliant turns your curiosity into practical skills with engaging courses in math, programming, data science, and AI. You'll even learn about concepts like the tech behind ChatGPT and run simulations to solve real-world challenges. To try Brilliant free for 30 days, head to brilliant.org slash Daniel or scan the QR code on the screen. You can also click the link in the description. That's how you can get 20% of Brilliant's annual premium subscription. Mobile app development – a step-by-step -step guide. So, guys, let's break down the entire process step-by-step. -step. Whether you're a coding whiz or just getting started, this guide will walk you through the essential stages to create a successful app. Let's dive in! Step 1. Define your idea and purpose. First things first, you need a solid idea. Ask yourself, what problem is my app solving? Or what value does it bring to users? It's super important to have a clear purpose for your app. You can even sketch out a rough draft or make a list of features you want. Here's a tip, folks. Make sure to research similar apps on the market. This will help you figure out how to make your app unique and avoid overlapping with existing ones. Step 2. Research and validate your idea. Once you have an idea, it's time for some serious research. Check out your competition and see how other apps in your niche are performing. This will give you insights into what works and what doesn't. Also, guys, validate your idea by talking to potential users. Get feedback to understand if people would really download and use your app. This step can save you tons of time and money down the road. Step 3. Plan your app's features and structure. Now let's get to the nitty-gritty. Make a detailed outline of all the features your app will include. You can prioritize features into must-haves and nice-to-haves. Next, create a wireframe or a rough blueprint of your app's layout. Think of this as the skeleton of your app. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it should help visualize the user experience. You can use platforms like Figma or Sketch to create wireframes. These tools are easy to use and great for getting a sense of how your app will look. Step 4. Choose your development approach. You have a few options here. Native app development. Build separate apps for iOS using Swift or Objective-C and Android using Kotlin or Java. This gives the best performance but requires more time and resources. Cross-platform development. Use frameworks like React Native, Flutter or Xamarin to write one code base that works on both iOS and Android. This is a good middle ground. No code or low code platforms. If you're not a coder, platforms like AppyPy or Adalo can help you build an app without writing much code. Perfect for MVPs. Pick the option that suits your skill level and budget. Guys, before we move on, I try to make my content fun instead of boring. And in return, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content I make. Step 5. Design your user interface. UI and user experience UX. Next, it's time to bring your app to life visually. Design your app's user interface to be clean, intuitive, and user-friendly. Remember, first impressions matter. Make sure navigation is easy and the design is consistent throughout the app. Here is a pro tip, folks. Keep the design simple and avoid cramming too much information onto one screen. Less is often more. Step 6. Develop your app. Now comes the most time-consuming part. Development. If you're coding your app, start with the backend, server, database, APIs, and then move on to the front-end, user interface and interactions. Test frequently to ensure everything is working as expected. Bugs and glitches are inevitable, but catching them early will save you headaches later. Step 7. Test and optimize your app. Before launching, you need to test your app thoroughly, guys. Use real devices to check how the app performs on both iOS and Android. Pay close attention to loading times, crashes, and any awkward UI elements. Get feedback from beta testers. You can use platforms like TestFlight for iOS or Google Play's beta testing features to gather insights. Step 8. Launch your app. Finally, it's time to launch. Publish your app on the App Store and Google Play. Remember, both platforms have specific guidelines 
and approval processes. So make sure your app meets all the criteria. Market your app through social media, blogs, or even ads if you have the budget. The more buzz you create, the better your chances of a successful launch. Step 9. Monitor performance and update regularly. Your job isn't over after launch. Keep an eye on how your app is performing. Monitor user feedback, reviews, and analytics to see where improvements are needed. Regular updates will keep your app fresh and bug-free. Listen to your users and don't be afraid to add new features if they make sense. Demand and salary expectations for mobile developers. All right, folks, let's talk numbers. Is there really a demand for mobile app developers? Spoiler alert, yes, there absolutely is. Mobile usage is only growing and companies are constantly looking for talented developers to keep up with that demand. Whether it's startups wanting to launch new apps or established companies needing to improve their mobile presence, your skills will be highly sought after. Now, in terms of salary, entry-level mobile app developers in the US can expect to earn anywhere from $60,000 to $80,000 a year. Once you have a few years of experience, that number can jump to six figures pretty quickly. Senior developers or specialists, like those focusing on iOS or Android specifically, can even earn well over $190,000 annually. And if you are freelancing or working on your own projects, the sky is the limit. But as with any career, your salary will depend on factors like your location, experience, and the complexity of the apps you're building. Is getting into mobile development worth it? So, is mobile app development worth it? Honestly, if you love building things, enjoy problem solving, and have a passion for tech, it's a fantastic career path. Sure, it can be challenging, especially when you are learning new languages or debugging tricky issues, but the rewards, both financially and creatively, can be huge. Mobile development gives you the power to create something millions of people could potentially use. How cool is that? Plus, the job market is strong and the skills you learn are transferable to other tech roles if you ever decide to switch it up. The best part? You can start building apps right now. You don't have to wait for a job offer or a degree to get going. Alright friends, that's a wrap for today's deep dive into mobile app development. As usual, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, until next time.